Dear partners, in this video we will be covering how to save the tank calibration tables in the digital indicator Escort i5's memory, how to configure the data output on the display of the indicator, and how to configure the retransmission of the data of BLE sensors to a GPS tracker gateway via the RS485 interface. Saving the tank calibration table For the Escort TD sensors, both wired and BLE varieties, you need to save the tank calibration table of up to 50 lines in the indicator's memory. Otherwise, the device will display only level readings of the sensor and not liters or gallons that you actually need. To save the table, open the Connect Sensors menu and tap on the sensor you need. Then go to the Start Tank Calibration menu and you can either import the table from a CSV file on your smartphone or you can enter the table manually. To import the table, first make sure it is stored in your smartphone's memory, select it and then you can either edit any cell, should that be necessary, by pressing it and changing the value in the cell, or you can add more lines. To do so, configure the portion first, this is the value in liters or gallons, and then press the add button and then edit the level value. To delete the line you don't need, press and hold it. Swipe to the left and press the delete button. After all changes are made, press the save button to apply them. To enter the table manually, select the corresponding option, then set the portion size in liters or gallons, then add as many lines as you need and edit the level column, changing the level values so they could match the table that you already have. To delete any line, press and hold it, then swipe to the left and tap Delete. Press Save to apply the table. After saving the table, be sure to switch on the Use Tank Calibration Table option. Only after that, the table you saved earlier will be applied by the indicator to display the liters or gallons. To check the table that is currently stored in the device's memory, tap Table Word marked by red. For any sensors that are not few level sensors, the table is not required. Data View Settings Virtual Windows Configuration Since the i5 has only one display, but up to 10 sensors can be paired with it, there are 10 virtual windows that are displayed on the screen one by one. To switch between them, press on one of the indicator's buttons. Every virtual window can be used to display one parameter readings of a particular sensor. To activate the window and select the parameter, open the display settings and select one of the windows. You can switch between them in the app by swiping left or right. The number of the virtual window establishes the order in which the windows will be displayed on the i5's screen. If the window is switched off, it will not be displayed on the screen. For example, in the window 1, you need the level of a UTD sensor to be displayed, so you select the level reading option. In the second window, the temperature of the same TD sensor. In the third window, the temperature of a THBLE. And in the fourth, the angle of ADU BLE. Attention! If you connect ADU 180, DGV 200, or the ALS sensor, be sure to select the level reading option. After the screen mode is selected, now, let's assume that you have several fuel level sensors. Some of them could be wired Escort TD and others could be wireless TDBLE. The wired or wireless does not actually matter. The most important thing is that if all these sensors are installed in the same tank or in different tanks that can be either interconnected or completely separate. If the sensors are installed in different tanks, and it doesn't matter if they are connected or not, you need the indicator to show the total volume of all those sensors. If the sensors are installed in the same tank, you need the average value. 
Therefore, you need to select either the total or average value in the screen mode in the display settings. You do not need to select the sensors in either of these cases, but you need to open the Connect Sensors menu, select every sensor you need, open its settings and activate the Include in Total Average Calculation option. However, if there are two pairs of sensors, for example, and you need a total or average value of each pair to be displayed separately, unfortunately, that cannot be done. You can only get a total or average of one pair, and the readings of two other sensors will have to be displayed in two more virtual windows. Retransmission of BLE data via RS-485 If necessary, the i5 can be used as a BLE RS-485 adapter. It will then retransmit the data it gets from BLE sensors via Bluetooth to an external device via the RS-485 interface. Once a BLE sensor is paired, go to the Connect Sensors menu, open the settings of the sensor, then open the RS settings. After that, you can select the pair of parameters readings that will be transmitted to an external device and then choose a network address that will be used for the data transmission. Remember that one pair of parameters occupies one unique network address. Therefore, the same address cannot be used for two different pairs. Also remember that if you have some wired sensors connected alongside the BLE sensors, you cannot use the network addresses that are already occupied by the wired sensors.